So I thought it was about time I should make a little video about some singing, maybe. Um, I managed to have the rehearsal room here to myself for a little bit, so we'll try and uh, go through a little bit of singing techniques or something like this. To me, there are three voices when it comes to singing. Your chest, like your sternum, your, well, that's your sternum, right? Or your throat, and then your head, your head voice, which is like the high, high-pitched stuff. And then here, which is like your, I suppose, death metal vocals, should come from here. And then here is where it's more, as you move up through your head, is a bit more like black metal. So I'm going to try and sing a few different things from Primordial um, and show you quite what I mean. Over the years, my voice has changed. I've added some things. It's like a muscle and you have to keep exercising and whatever. But as you grow older, things change a bit. You can hear my voice. I've been doing a lot of interviews, a lot of talking, which is bad for your voice. But there are, um, how can we say? You, things change a little bit as you get older, but you add techniques. And that adding that grit to your voice, the kind of grit that you hear in some great um, 70s and 80s singers, whether it's, you know, like Steve Marriott or something, or Blackie Lawless or Naughty Hole or this, <laughs> this kind of grit kind of thing. Well, that was, was not that impressive, but um, I'm going to try and take you through some of the different styles that I employ from clean singing, more to brutal stuff. So if we take, for example, um, now I'm going to have to try and remember my own lyrics, which is difficult enough as it is. But if we take, let's say, Empire Falls, this is a kind of mid-high, but with some grit. So you need to get this, a cold wind, a cold wind, it is blowing to the graves, it is blowing, and it bears a poison tongue, the foul breath of deceit, deceit. So it's, it's pretty rough on the voice, pretty hard. And the first times you do it, I started to do it in maybe 2001, two. Um, I wanted to have a voice that was somewhere between black metal and singing. The first times you do it, you lose your voice after like 15, 20 minutes. But what you learn is that if you kind of, your voice rebounds, it rebounds from these things. I've got too much delay on here, whatever, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, your voice rebounds and you've got to kind of trust that you will bounce back from that initial feeling of like, fuck, you know. But it's, it, what you learn to do is to have, um, to hold notes and move through them, which is pretty hard when you have grit. So, a cold wind, and you can feel that going from like, coming, kind of coming from your chest. Now we can go lower, like, kneel upon me. I'm just sort of making up random notes there, but you can hear even in this crappy sound that's coming through here, I sing pretty loud. But this is a kind of you're moving through from oh, like oh, and you feel it moving through. And what you need to do is to kind of have a um, Kind of trying, trying to control that movement is quite hard. So what you, you know, I, a lot of times I'm quite. If you watch somebody like JB from Grand Magus, who's one of my favourite singers, he's just like when the oar strikes the water, whatever that's him playing the guitar. Um, he just is effortless. Certainly, I'm not effortless. So this particular kind of singing, I'll stick with Empire Falls because that's what's in my head. You know. Now you will notice so um, a cold wind that is blowing. To the graves and is blowing. And now for the second verse. I am my father's son and his de deeds, deeds. Whatever it is, you know, it's, so you're going from Cohen to I am. So you're going up through 
but the same riff is the same, but you're in the whole octave range higher, whatever you want to say. But if you go into that, I am, that's now your, what I would call your head voice. You've left the grit. I think I feel a bit like the grit is in this space. But once you go above that, and you go, you go into the, you take my life, but I'll take yours too. You fire musket, but I'll run you through. But when you're waiting for the next attack, you better run, there's no turning back, back. This is like, the Dickinson is like eight out of 10 high. Well, that's a really hard place to just maintain power. I mean, you think he's such an incredible singer and he does it with such force. But there's a, ah! is it, there's not much of that in the early primordial stuff it's more you know um let me think um you know gods to the godless whatever there's you know it's much more quiet or let's say burning season bring the women and children before me let us make rivers of their blood you can see it's in this six seven out of ten it's not you take my but back then I wasn't doing it with such um, volume. You know, you take journeys in. Shafts of morning dew fade to dusk. In a way, it's a much quieter kind of voice. And even you go to Altars Ablaze, it's so it seems. But as the time has gone on, my voice has got a lot harder, but more robust. And then if you want to do the total top of the head, it's... Let's pick the hardest one. Faster than a bullet! Terrifying screams! Enraged and full of anger! A mad and hard machine! He is! Etc. That's like, for me, like right at the top of the range. Ah! Ooh, that's a bit grumpy, you can hear. But, it, you know, that's, that's like... Right to the edge at the top of the range, and that's like the total head voice. What you're trying to do also is, you know, nah, pain. Ah! You're mixing grit in with. Ah! That sounds a bit weak, but um, you know, you take my life. So it's a bit more falsetto. And then if you go down to the, oh, like this sort of bring it down to this low. I don't do many death metal vocals, but that, that's, is coming from here. Or, you know, that sort of throaty neurosis, kind of roar. The black metal voice, I think, is, and that changes over the years as you get older. Originally, my black metal voice was much louder than my main normal singing voice, but over the years, they've kind of moved so that the heavy metal voice is much, um, is much louder. And so part of the biggest problem is really is trying to hold the notes and keep them in place when you are um, putting grit and dirt in your voice. Like I said, this kind of upper stomach, sternum voice, the throat voice, and then the head. And then the top of the head is the super high, like the end of pil Pilgrimage to the World's End. Um, but I actually burst a blood vessel in my eye trying to sing that. And that's about as high as I can possibly get. Um, I was born in the cemetery under the sign of the... Now, don't mean to burst another blood vessel in my eye, but that's fucking super high. But King does it in a kind of, not like full painkiller type falsetto. It's a different kind of falsetto. But I think that... Um, Generally, I try and I, I do sing like very, very loud, um, very, very loud. Um, and so you have to be careful, of course, especially when you're playing loud, to not start with the most difficult song. You know, so we were starting with Where Greater Men Have Fallen, which is pretty high and it's pretty hard. Um, if I can remember the first. Um, follow Zuper, follow Zuper, sons under. Bone, bone white crosses. I think I've just made up another, <laughs> another um, totally with different way of singing that, that you know. We're greater men have. We're greater. I don't even, not even sure that it's that high, 
But I tend to grip fucking hard and push this out from under there. Like I said, some singers are just, oh, that's JB, like the old tracks. This is totally effortless and I really admire that. But I get the, not always the most relaxed way of singing. It's often why you see, see singers kneeling down because they're almost pushing this, ah, oh yeah. They're pushing it out of their sternum. What am I bullshitting on about? I just thought I would, um, in front of this beautiful backdrop, make a little dumb video about singing, about technique. Um, you just kind of, I'd rather not have that much technique and do it with character and passion and energy and not be too worried about um, that it's always hitting the right place and everything. Because if you know it's a primordial, it's like jumping over a river, fording a brook. You, ah! Jumping over and the notes are passing underneath. Ooh, oh, 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 and then you land. You don't go, this is the thing that the blah. Like you don't. Do, 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 do. Then in fact, when we recorded Last Call um, from Exile Amongst the Ruins, um, it was clear that it was too tight. It didn't sound like Primordial, so we had to undo the tightness, if that makes any sense. And so if it's breaking the brains of all the Swedes who are listening, all 12 of them going, how oh, must you do that? But um, that's what we had to do. So it's kind of like um, if you take this new song, Victory Has a Thousand Fathers. Victory has one thousand fathers defeated and often. So you're going, victory. very slightly through notes and trying to oh, oh, like hold them in place defeat is and when you record you would go defeat is and defeat is defeat is and three very brutal kind of harmonies layer them together along with maybe a defeat is so sometimes you get like um, a rather a kind of gritty, dirty harmony between three or four oh, competing brutal voices, um, which is a very primordial thing. And sometimes you have a ho oh, and then layer that underneath. So sometimes every now and again, there could be like six or seven or eight voices moving at the same time. And if you're feeling a bit done dark and you can put a victory, victory, layer that in behind the main voice. Anyway, that's a little random view into my technique, which is throat, or no, sorry, throat, oh, it's not my throat, um, chest, sternum, push it, so. <laughs> all the way to the top. And you can try and the notes. But the hardest one is that 7, 8 out of 10. Victory! But do it with grit and filth in your voice, which is what I try and do. Like I said, technique, not that interested. I'm more interested in character, passion, and that it sounds, you know, like, you fucking mean it. All right, end of the video.